Very simply, our focus in 2012 is one thing, and we're going to drive awareness and, and demand for Ultrabooks. We've got more than 75 design wins, 75 Ultrabooks that are currently in design, many of them hybrids, and I told them, few of them are going to be touch. The interesting thing was that when we did this analysis in the market, we find out that some people say, we are not going to go to these Ultrabooks because we are not going to sacrifice our screen. We still want 14 and 15 inch screen, but we would like to have it thin. In the beginning, it was not intuitive. Why people that have got big screens still want to have it thin? Because it's nice, because it's sexy. And we find out that 28% of the people that were not willing to move to Ultrabook will move if we'll be able to deliver the big screen. And as we move forward to 2012, 50% of the Ultrabooks are going to be also 14 and 15 inches. So you'll see it all the way from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So whatever you want, you'll be able to use as an Ultrabook in 2012. So let me show you some of this touch screen and how it's done. What do we have over here? So we have a Windows 7 Intel Concept Ultrabook and with a very media-rich enabled touch application. It's very simple, very easy. You can touch it, navigate it. So we can see some of the applications are much easier done yeah. by scrolling the screen, zooming, and all these kind of activities, or closing windows, opening windows. Some of the applications definitely like writing email. Oh, it or... doesn't replace it. We still, I still utilize the keyboard. I still utilize the trackpad. But now I've gone in all three usages. I'm using the touch. It's just so natural, so easy. It's very intuitive. What do we have over here? Because I believe this is something that we actually we stretch it another level, right? Sure. So this, again, is the same Intel concept uh, uh, Ultrabook. This one actually is running Windows 8, and it also has sensors. Everyone's used to sensors. You must let me so, do it, although I didn't practice it. OK. okay? I, so we I'll, have here, I'll, I'll let you pick it up and do it. So we've got the sensor that we added to the Ultrabook. So first of all, when you need to speak a location, it will not ask you where you are and you need to put your address. You, your address, it will be done automatically. But more than that, if I take it, and I believe this Google has, I can navigate it and use all the great compute power that you've got in i5 and iCore, and I'm not sure that many other things will be able to deliver such an application, and at the same time, enjoy both worlds. And I can see already people asking cynical, yes, but this is a clamshell. So let me promise you two things. First of all, it's very comfortable to do it with a clamshell. It's beautiful. But some of the systems are going to be clamshells like this. It's an Based, but if you would like to do it, you'll have it as a tablet. The, thank you, guys. <laughs> By the way, this section, did you hear what they just said? <laughs> but what you can see over here is the way that and you'll see many of those. We call it sliders or convertibles. We just open it, we took it, and then we can take the compute power that we've got in a core processor and use all the greatness that we can do on a PC. But if you want to do it as a tablet, you can have your tablet with you. And then you can have the touch that you have seen. You can have the sensors. Although my personal belief is that people will use touchscreen with their Ultrabook, even in a clamshell. And people will use the sensors. And after a few weeks that you use it, you'll be surprised. You, you will not be able to do anything without it. The other thing I would like to share with you is the Nikishki. Nikishki sounds like a very strange name, I agree. This was a concept that the guys in our lab thought about, and I disclosed it in Computex. And what I showed is, this Nikishki, this is how it looks like. Let me go on stage so people will be able to see it. And the idea was the following. It's an Ultrabook that you can type everything on a normal way. But over here, we've got a touchpad that you can move the mouth using the touchpad. But the interesting thing is that when you are on the go, you can close the kishki. The touchpad is transparent. Let me show you how it's transparent. Can you see my finger? Yeah. It's transparent. And you can see the data that you know need. What is my next meeting? Did I get an email? And when you've got something urgent, you don't need to go immediately to your phone or to your tablet to another device. You'll have it on the go. So you'll be able to enjoy both worlds. Okay. So we have a Nikitsky prototype here. It's open, and so it's in clamshell mode. And you can see that I have a cursor that I'm controlling over here. I left so it over you here move on the, the right. You move the mouse by touching the, the... Touching the pad in the center, activating it. 
However, now that you'll see it's over in the center, if I put my palms down as if I was typing, it is not picked up. Hold on. I don't trust the audience. When I'm on the move, I can activate it with one finger swipe. It comes up from sleep. So you just close it, and this screen appears this, this, automatically. The screen will appear. Let me see if we can see it. Yes. OK. And all of my alerts are in red of what I'm going to do this afternoon. I have other items like news feeds, mail, calendar. So I bring up my calendar. I can do some small minor actions, like accept a meeting or something like that. Go back to the home screen. I can bring up news feeds. And I can find you know, things about today's news, bring it up. I can browse if I'd like. And one of the key things is if I'm going to use it, so for instance, if I was working on an email or something like that, I don't want to have to go I find that email I believe, again. I believe you'll have to do it a little bit like this. So OK. Yes. Yeah. I could just open it up, and it goes right to where I was when I was in the, the Kiski reveal mode.